Hey viewers, Michael Warren here from Essential Guitar Lessons and let's learn how to play Animal by Death Leopard. Don't forget if you like this lesson to subscribe and hit the notification bell and check out my YouTube channel Essential Guitar Lessons. Lots of songs and lessons for all levels and new ones uploaded weekly and I'll put a link in the description for you. If you're having any problems with the song, please leave a comment and let me know how you go with this one. Now with this song we'll cover all the guitar parts and there are quite a few there. And we'll start with the chords. So if you know these chords, jump ahead to this time. So let's get into it. So we have a B flat five chords. So these are just all power chords. First fret on the A string, third fret on the D and the G. We have a B five power chord, so just move up one fret. So second fret on the A, fourth fret on the D and the G. We have a C five power chord. This time third fret on the A, fifth fret on the D and the G. We have a D5, so we're just moving up again. Fifth fret on the A string, seventh fret on the D and the G. We have a G5 power chord, so this time we're third fret on the E string, fifth fret on the A and the D. We have an A5, and you can do both here, so we have the fifth fret on the E string, seventh fret on the A and the D. Or you can do it as an open A string, second fret on the D and the G, and they're both A5 power chords. We have a C sharp five now, so we're gonna have the fourth fret on the A string, the sixth fret on the D and the G. We have an F sharp five, so second fret on the E string, fourth fret on the A and the D. We have the low E5 power chord, so open E string, second fret on the A and the D. And we have a high F5 power chord as well. So we're coming up to the eighth fret there, and we have eighth fret on the A and tenth fret on the D and the G. And they're all the chords we're using in this song. So let's get into it. So for our intro, we have two guitar parts. The first one is just chugging along using power chords and palm muting on eighth notes. So we start on our B flat and we do a bar there. So one and two and three and four and. So eight times. Then we move up to our C power chord, do that three times. One, two, three. And then up to our D and we do that five times. One, two, three, four, five. So we have. Go back to your B flat power chord. Again, one bar, so one, then two, then three, then four, then back to our C three times, one, two, three, to our D this time three times, one, two, three, and then go back to the C two times, one, two, and we do that whole section through two times. That's not too hard, let me play that through for you now. <laughs> just all eighth notes using power chords and palm muting. Now let's have a look at guitar two. It's gonna be a little lead part, so let's do that now. So start on the 10th fret on the D and the G, we play that, hold it, and use our whammy bar there. Then we play 10th fret on the B string once. Then jump to the 10th fret on the D string, palm mute it, and do that two times. Back to 10B. Back to the 10D, palm mute two times. 10B again. Back to the 10D, but just palm mute it once. And then 11B. Back to the 10D two times. Now we're gonna do a bend on the 10th fret on the B. Then we play 11B. Back to 10D two times. 11B. Back to 10D two times. 11B, 10D once, then 13B, play the 10 on the D two times, and then do a bend on the 11 on the B. Then we play 10, uh, sorry, 13 on the B again, 10 on the D two times, 13 on the B. Then we're just gonna do this octave chord, so we're playing the 10th fret on the D string, 13th fret on 
the B string, so we're muting the G string there, and we just go down, up, down, up, down. And you can use your bar there as well. And that's the intro, so let's play that up to speed now. There's nothing too hard there. Let's have a look at that now. So for our verse, we're just chugging along on eighth notes again for guitar one. So we start on our B flat and we do that for a bar. So one, then two, then three, then four, and come up to C and we do that three times. One, two, three. And then D, we do that five times. One, two, three, four, five. Back to the B flat and we do that for another bar. One, two, and three, then three, then four, and now we come up to our G. So third fret on the E, fifth fret on the A. We do that three times, three, come up to our A, do that three times, and then back to our G two times. And we play that through four times, let me play that a couple of times through for you there, starting on the B flat. part here. So for our clean guitar we're going to start on the third fret on the D string, fifth fret on the G and sixth on the B and we just play that once and that's the very first beat of the verse when he's playing the B flat. So, and we hold that then we play it again two times and then we go to this G sus4 we're going to play fifth fret on the D and the G string, third fret on the B and the E, and we just play that once. So there's a fair gap between those chords, but you can hear them quite easily in the mix when they come in. You can hear the one strum, then the two strums, and then the one strum again. And it just plays those parts the first two times through the guitars chugging along on our eighth notes there. So now let's have a look at guitar three and what that's doing. So guitar three comes through on the third time through our chugging along in our verse, and we're going to play the first fret two times on the A string, palm mute that, then on the D string play three, two, go back to the A string first fret once, back to the third fret on the D string, back to the first fret on the A string two times, to the third fret again on the D string, once on the A string first fret, and then on the D string, two, three. And we do that through four times, so let me play it slowly first for you. So let me play that up to speed for you, it's not too hard there. just playing the fifth fret on the G string, the eighth fret on the B and the E, and we just do it down up, and then we do that again. And that's just the last part of the verse, and then we have one more guitar part, so let's have a look at that now. So we're going to start this last guitar on the fifth fret on the G string, sixth fret on the B string, play it once, two palm mutes, and then play five on the G5 on the B once, two palm mutes, Back to five and six, five on the G, six on the B once, two palm mutes. And then we're gonna play six B, six, uh, sorry, five G and seven on the D, so, and do that again. And then just finish on the six on the B, so we have. So let me play that first little part slowly for you. and six again, play that once, two palm mutes, five and five once, two palm mutes, five and six once, 
Now we do one palm mute there, then we play the six on the B, the eight on the B, and then we just play B6, five on the G, five on the B, five on the G. So that last little part there is going to be. So let me play that first line for you up to speed. And then from there we repeat that first part, five and six, palm mutes two times, five and five, palm mute two times, five and six, palm mute two times, our little six, five, seven, six, five, seven, six, back to five and six again, two palm mutes, five and five, two palm mutes, six and five. Now it changes a little bit here, we're going to palm mute on the five on the G string, then we're going to play eight on the B, five on the G, seven on the D, and then go back to six on the B, five on the G, seven on the D, and then back to five on the B, five on the G. So it's just a little run down there. And we do that all palm muted. And that's guitar five, and what we do is just repeat that second line through three times. So each time we're ending on that little run down. Eight, five, seven, six, five, seven, five, five. And we're just going back to the start of that each time and play that last bit through three times. So let me play it a couple of times through for you there. parts now let's have a look at the pre-chorus so guitar one is just going to start on the B power chord this time just play down up down then we're going to play this octave chord second fret on the E string fourth fret on the D string muting the A string then we play the fourth fret on the A string and we play the sixth fret on the D G and B string two times do that again. Fourth fret A and sixth fret D, G and B. So let me play that for you now, not too hard. Then we repeat it all again, but we don't play the first chord three times. Just play it once. Our octave chord. And our four, six, six. Four, six, six. And that's guitar one, so let me play that for you. Nothing too hard there. And that's guitar one. Now let's have a look at guitar two. It's just doing this little pedal tone. So we're gonna start on the fourth fret on the G string. Go to seven B. 4G, 6B, 4 on the G, back to 7 on the B, so. And we're doing a light palm muting there as well. Then come up to the 6th fret on the G, 7B, 6G, 6B, 6G, 7B. So same thing, but we've just moved the bass note now, so. Now the last one, we're going to play a chord here, but we're going to play the 6th fret again on the G, 4th fret on the E string, back to 6 on the G, 7 on the B, 6 on the G, and then 4 on the E there. So now we have... And then we just play the six on the D, G and B. And then we're going to this B, uh, sorry, C sharp, sus four there. So we're gonna have six, six, six on the D, six on the G and seven on the B. And then just do an upstroke 
fourth fret on the E, sixth fret on the B. So, so let me play that slowly for you, then we'll do it up to speed. And let's do that up to speed, and we just play that through two times through when this is guitar two for our pre chorus C. to our pre-chorus, now let's have a look at the chorus. So for our chorus, guitar ones is going to play the F sharp, and the pattern we're using is a palm mute, then off the palm mute, two palm mutes, and then off again. So when I say off, I don't mean the chord, we just hold that F sharp power chord down the whole time. So we have, and that's a pattern we're going to use. Then we go to our E power chord, mute, off, mute, mute, off. Our B power chord, mute, off, mute, mute, off. Then for our A, we do one mute and then just play the A and hold it for a bar there. Then we repeat that all again. The E, the B, and on the last A, we just stop. One, two, three, four. So let me play that up to speed, that's pretty easy. B, guitar one. Now let's have a look at guitar two. We're just going to be doing this fill on nine and seven. So we have nine on the E string, seven on the B string, and we play nine, seven, nine, seven, and hold them down while you're doing it. Don't play it. Hold them both down. So nine, seven, nine, seven, and then nine, seven, seven, and then seven, nine, seven, nine, and seven, nine, seven. Do that for you. Then we do that again. Nine seven nine seven. Nine seven seven. Seven nine seven nine. And to finish that off, we're just going to play the six on the G, seven on the B, and nine on the E. And then to get us into the next verse, we have an open. A string and just use your bar there. Let it come in. So it's pretty easy to be playing that for you. So now let's have a look at the second verse and the guitar parts there. So guitar one in the second verse is going to be exactly the same as guitar one in the first verse. Let's quickly run through that. And we do that four times. Now let's have a look at guitar two. So guitar two is our clean guitar and we start on the same chord we did before with our clean guitar. Third fret on the D, fifth fret on the G and sixth on the B, and this is right after he does the heavy part on the guitar, and we just do that two times. You can do it down up there. Then the third time through the riff that we're chugging along to, we're just going to play eight on the E, six on the B, five on the G. So we, and then we play eight E, six B, eight E. So, and repeat that again, eight, six, five, eight, six, eight. And that's a clean guitar there, so let's quickly run through that last part. Now let's have a look at guitar three. This is a little bit different from the first one. So for guitar three, we're gonna play the third fret on the D string and use our bar to come in. Then you start with your volume down, play the third fret on the D string and turn your volume up there. 
and then we just play the F power chord, we play that once, and then he has that clean guitar coming in straight after it, so down to all with the clean guitar, then we play it again, two par mute, and again, so. Then we go back to something similar we did in the first verse. We're gonna play the first fret on the A string two times, D string three, two, A string one on the first fret, back to the D string three, then play the three again, back to the one on the A, and then back to the D string two, three. And we do that through three times and the last one's gonna change. So we have and up to speed. Now the last one's a little bit different. We go back to the A string first fret two times. D string three, two. Back to the A string one. Back to the D string three. And then D string five, three, two, three. So, so let me play one of the first one and then into that second one for you. And that's guitar three. Now let's have a look at guitar four as well. So this next guitar is the same that we did in the verse, but we're leaving out that first line. So we have six and five on the G and the B, two palm mutes, five and five, two palm mutes, six and five, two palm mutes, and then our six, five, seven, six, five, seven, six, six and five, two palm mutes, five and five, two palm mutes, six and five, and then we're going like we ended the other one, eight on the B, five on the G, seven on the D, and then six, five, seven, so six B, five G, seven D, and five, five. And we just play that through four times. So we've already done the first verse, this is pretty easy. Let me play that up to speed for you now. <laughs> and they're all the parts to our verse. Then from there we go back to the pre-chorus and we do that exactly the same as we did before. Then we have the chorus and we do that exactly the same and then we have the bridge after that. So let's have a look at that now. So guitar one in our bridge is gonna start on the fifth fret on the E string, then play the second fret and then the third fret and then play it again. And we just do that two times, that's pretty easy. And again. Then the next time we play 3E, e, 5 on the A, and then open E, and do that again. And we just play that through two times. And you can use a power chord there on that E, open E string, second fret on the A string. So we play guitar one through for you, pretty easy. And again. one there, let's have a look at guitar two. Once guitar one's played, we come in with the harmonics on guitar two. We're gonna play the fifth fret on the D string and the seventh fret on the B string. We play them together. Use your bar and then we just play five E, two E, three E, and come down with your bar again there. So we have... And then from there, we're just gonna play the third fret on the E with a pinched harmonic, fifth fret on the A pinched harmonic, and then the open E again. Do that again, and then just play that again. And the second guitar, well actually the third guitar comes in with a little lead and we'll have a look at that as well. So let's do the second guitar now. Again. 
Now the third guitar is coming over the top of that end part and we're just doing like a chromatic run up. We're bending on the seventh fret on the G and playing the fifth fret on the B. So we're not bending the B strip. Then just move up to eighth fret, eight and six, nine and seven, and just keep going up one fret at a time until we get to 17 on the G and 15 on the B. So up to speed. And that's where the solo starts here. Now we'll have a look at the solo at the end. Let's look at the rhythm behind the solo now. So the rhythm behind the solo is going to be the same as the intro. We're starting on the B, just playing eighth notes in our palm muting there. So one, two, and three, and four, and coming up to C three times. One, two, three. Our D, do that five times. One, two, three, four, five. Back to our B flat, one bar. One, two, two and three, and four, and back to our C three times. D three times, and then back to our C two times. And we do that through two times for the solo, so let me do that up to speed for you, pretty easy. pre-chorus and that's exactly the same as our other pre-chorus then we go into the chorus from there now the first rhythm is going to be pretty much the same that we did before we're going to start on the F sharp palm mute off two palm mutes off again to our E same pattern to our B to our A do the same pattern we do that through two times and then the third time through we play it the same except we're going to do a stop on the A so we do the F sharp again the E the B now the A we just play three times one two three and stop then we go back to the first line we do that through again E B And then we go the second line again, but we're going to do a bit of a build up on the B. So we F sharp, B, to the B, and to the A, the stop again. Just three and a stop, one, two, stop. Sorry, I did four there, just three. And then go back to the F sharp again, A. B and finish on the A. One, two, three. And that's guitar one. Let's play that through quickly, nothing too hard there. doing something similar that we did before. We're going to start on the 9, on the E, 7 on the B, we play 9, 7, 9, 7, and then 9, 7, 7, 7, 9, 7, 9, and 7, 9, 7. We do that through two times. Then the third time through we play 9, 7, 9, 7, 9, 7, 7, 7, 9, 7, 9, and 7, 9, 7, stop on the 9, so 7, 9, 7, 9, stop. Then just go back to the first line again. 9, 7, 7, 7, 9, 7, 9, 7, 9, 7. And then the last one, we just do it again with the stop again. So 9, 7, 9, 7, 9, 7, 7, 7, 9, 7, 9, and 7, 9, 7, 9. And we do that two times. 
So it's the same pattern through each time, but we're just putting the stops in. So just put them in the same spot that you're doing the other guitar in as well. So there are all the rhythm parts. Let's have a look at the solo now. This is pretty easy as well. <laughs> So we're going to start with a bend on the 5th fret on the G Then do another bend, 5th fret G, but this time do bend and release Then just play the 7th fret on the G Do a bend on the 7th fret Play the 7th fret and then play the 5th fret 2 times on the G So all on the G string slowly Then we go back to the 5th fret again on the G string, bend 4 times, 1, 2, 3, 4, just play the 5th fret, play the 7th fret, and then do a bend on the 7th fret, so slowly. Then we do the start again, 5th fret, G string bend, bend and release. Come up to the 7th fret G, now we're going to do a bend on the 8th fret B, bend and release, play the 8th fret, B, 6th fret B, 5th fret B, and then we do our bends again on the 5th fret on the G 4 times, just play the 5th fret, 7th fret, and then we finish with a harmonic on the 5th fret E string, and use your bar there. Now with that second bend on the five at the start, you can put a pinched harmonic in there as well. So we have, so you can do that there if you like. So let's play that through up to speed now. our solo there and that's all the parts to the song so there's lots to get onto there so thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed this lesson don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you soon